All right, so I recently posted on Twitter a video of me actually going into a pawn shop and seeing a custom gaming computer and they were trying to sell it for a thousand dollars. There is literally no RAM. <laughs> but to make it worse, their starting asking price was $2,000. And if you know anything about computer parts, you would see right away that that system was worth about 150, if not less. So I started to get really curious, wondering, you know, do pawn shops or pawn stores, whatever, do they know anything about computers? Like, are they just making uninformed decisions and taking the seller's advice on what to price these things at or what they're actually worth? So today's video is going to be a adventure into figuring out if you, a consumer, can build a computer using a pawn shop. You should know off the top of your head that pawn stores are there to make money. Um, they buy things low and they sell them for higher. They're basically professional flippers. But you know, if they are so professional, how could they get that one item so wrong? And, and that's what I'm hoping will create some opportunity for us, their lack of knowledge when it comes to our specific marketplace. So I'm gonna go to some pawn stores right now. Let's see what we can find. All right, first stop, Easy Pawn. Hi. All right, this place is complete garbage. They have nothing but like old e-machines, which are basically like video watchers at best, and uh, some really crappy like Windows 7 laptops that cannot do anything for us in terms of performance. And the prices are not even that great for how old these things are. So bad performance, bad price. We're gonna move on to the next door. We are now gonna be looking towards a different pawn shop and uh, hope we can find something better than that because that was trash. That was just straight garbage. Next spot is Super Pond. Appreciate it, thank you. So after pawn store number two, there is still nothing good to look at. I mean, even their like okay laptops are priced at like $300, which have like old Intel i3, i5s that would be able to run like League of Legends at medium settings. For those of you who don't understand what that means, what I'm basically trying to say is you're paying a retail price for a used laptop that can barely run a bottom tier game in terms of performance. So, Still, no good finds at any of these pawn shops. I'm gonna move on to the next one. All right, so I'm starting to lose hope. These pawn shops are being a little more disappointing than I thought they would be. So I've made a very intentional decision. I've decided to drive farther into the hood, deep into the ghetto, uh, with the hopes that this pawn shop will actually be more promising. Because in my experience in the past when I've gone to pawn shops, not for computers, but in general, uh, the worse off the area, the more treasure you find at the pawn shop. So I'm going inside right now and I'm hoping that we can come away with something. <sighs> this one has an LED strip. Oh jeez, 300. Oh, okay. So I was wondering, does, um, I was just confused because the monitor has the same specs as what's written on here. Is it a, does it come together or I'm not sure? Uh, I don't believe so. Okay. Windows 10 into a core. Yeah, I'll take it off. I don't know if it makes it any easier, but because the matching specs up on that sticker match the ones on this sticker over here. 
Oh, that's what he said? Yeah. Okay, cool. Cool. 20, 40. All right, should be 140. Okay. All right. All right, we finally got some shit. I told you guys, you have to go deep into the ghetto to find that treasure, so check it out. We have a monitor, and it has the specs of the computer on it, but it's just a, it, what's that, 1920 1080p monitor. But this is what we got. We got this little mini badass right here. You can't see it all that well, but it is a seventh generation i3-7100, four gigabytes GDDR4, one terabyte hard drive, and it obviously has the Intel HD graphics. So what I have to do now is I have to make up my mind on whether or not I want to uh, make some upgrades, which of course we will because I need to turn this into a gaming PC. Obviously I can't do that here at a pawn shop. Pawn shops don't sell individual components, at least you know, to the best of my knowledge they don't. So now we gotta make some local deals. We're in the hood, I'm feeling pretty good. We're gonna find something here and uh, we'll make this into uh, a little mini gaming PC. Sorry, sorry, like, sorry about that. Here, yeah, you're cool. so 20 and the five, sweet, and then yeah, sorry, I just yeah, no, you're fine. <laughs> Double check, make sure <laughs> the yeah. only way you can tell is by the serial number, there's no actual marking on it that says four gigabyte or eight. Gigabyte. Oh, good, I see, I see the 288 pins. Yeah, I thought it perfect. was perfect. Well, I appreciate it. Thank you so you're much. Good. You're welcome, have fun. All right, so we got the RAM. Uh, my camera's running out of battery, I didn't bring a second one. Um, I actually have. A deal set up for the graphics card, but like I said, the camera is literally about to die. It's flashing red. So I'm gonna go pick up the graphics card, then I'm gonna head back to the house and uh, we'll see what we got. Dude, I look good today. All right, so it is the next day. We are back at the house and let's go over a few things. Number one, why did I go for this computer? Well, out of all of the pawn shops we went to yesterday, most everything that they were carrying were laptops, and I guess that's because technology nowadays is more about convenience. There were rarely any full machines in any of the stores that I went to, and the ones that were actually full on systems were, like I said before, e-machines. However, in our last store, they actually had some pretty decent pre-builds, as well as one CyberPower PC, I believe, is something I ran across, but after a quick look inside, I could see that they were still doing their typical GT710 graphics card scam, which, if you don't know what I'm saying, is such a graphics card that I don't understand why they call it a gaming computer in the first place. <laughs> However, this computer actually was really cool because it has all of its specs already written on the side, which I thought were more than capable because after taking a quick peek inside, I could see that this was actually a seventh generation processor. Now, unfortunately, it is a dinky i3-7100, but for gaming, that processor is actually more than capable. Maybe not for AAA higher end open world titles, but it should actually be able to hold its own. The only real major drawback that you should have been able to pick up on because I've mentioned it earlier in the video is that this thing only has four gigabytes of RAM. That's why we had to go out and make a Craigslist deal for another four gigabyte stick of RAM. And the one last major issue that this computer has is that the power supply in this thing is garbage. I haven't actually checked out the water jet, but a quick search showed me that there are no cables to power a graphics card. But like I said earlier, we did actually go out and secure one that will work despite our crappy power supply. Number two, this monitor. We were actually able to get a monitor thrown into our system because I was not on autopilot while I was making this purchase. You see, for whatever reason, pawn shops decide to put a sticker right on the panel showing the specs of the system you're going to purchase. And I noticed that the specs that are written on this sticker actually match the specs that are written on the side of this computer. So if you saw in the video, I did actually end up asking the cashier, hey, you know, does this monitor come with this computer? So talk myself into a monitor, which definitely increases the overall value of what we got at the pawn shop. And number three, what graphics card were we able to get? Well, despite the fact that I show that Las Vegas is a PC part used dream market, not often do people sell low profile used graphics cards, but someone was selling an RX 550 low profile card, and it was actually unused for, actually I'll share the price later, but we were able to get the card. So we have something that will work in our system, and now let's go into the price breakdown. 
So this pre-built is an HP 570P054 and it actually retails for $440 new. And from what I could see, that was actually a clearance price. This thing typically sells for over $500, which is a scam in and of itself, which is typically on this channel why we avoid pre-built systems. As for our four gigabyte stick of DDR4 from Ballistics clocked at 2400 megahertz, this thing typically retails for $43 and I was able to get it for $25. And lastly, for our low profile RX 550, this thing typically retails for $140 and I was able to get it for $50. So if you had everything up, this entire system at retail costs $623. And that's not even taking this monitor into account, which probably sells for around $40. The actual price that I paid for this whole system was $215. Wow. Now, while I'm really happy I only paid a third of retail price, I'm still not all that convinced yet that this system is worth $215, at least in my opinion. I know on this channel before, we've seen some pretty insane price to performance systems, and the fact that we had to go to a pawn store really hurts our ability to get the most value for our dollar. But since you're the one watching this video, I'd actually like to hear your opinion. Do you think that this system is worth $215? Let me know in the comment section below. But anyways, that's enough talking. I haven't even put the system together yet, so I don't even know if it works. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. Moment of truth. Please. My mouse and keyboard lit up for a second. That usually means the computer's turning on. <gasps> yes, let's go. <laughs> it works. Hey, there we go. All right. Time to download some benchmarks. Let's get.
was expecting this thing to be a lot worse. Anyways, before we wrap up this video, let's cover a few things. Number one, pawn shops, for the most part, suck. Any of the large franchise pawn shops I went to actually didn't have anything good for sale. Only when I went to the lesser known pawn shops in worse areas did I start to find anything worth buying. Number two, I've touched on this before, but for $215, I really think I can get better performance. I've definitely had more powerful systems that did better in the benchmarks and that cost less than this computer did. The only reason I would ever recommend recreating the system is if you wanted to have a smaller build that was easier to move around with you and maybe be a replacement for a $500 laptop that you would bring with you on trips. And number three, the graphics card actually ended up being an RX 460. Now right off the top of your head you're going to think, oh that's an older card, it clearly performed worse than a 550 would have, but the RX 460 actually has 300 more stream processors than a 550 does. For those of you that don't know what a stream processor is, it's basically the AMD equivalent of a CUDA core for Nvidia cards. And for those of you that are curious, the RX 460 and 550 actually have identical specs other than their stream processors. Also, all the parts I use to build this system will be left in the description below. Again, I don't recommend it, but they are there if you want to check them out. So we set out to see if building a computer from a pawn shop was feasible and it ended up being possible, but in reality, I really don't think that the average person is gonna be able to recreate this because obviously a huge part of walking into a pawn shop and finding something that will work for you is luck. Will you be able to do this for yourself? Maybe it's possible, but I highly encourage you to learn about PC parts and their value. So watch a lot more of the videos on this channel. Self plug, I know, but if you really wanna educate yourself on what things are worth, I highly recommend either doing your own research and looking on the internet or watching what I've put out there. Anyways, I hope you found this entertaining or informative in any way, shape or form. And as always, thank you so much for watching and have a good day.